Hello and welcome to Ableton Live 11 Lite episode 4. Today we're going to talk about how to record vocals and how to add some effects to make it sound a little bit better. Uh, so let's jump in and we're going to start with right click this area here, this track. Right click and click insert audio track. And then I want to make this green. And then you want to activate recording for this track and then we're going to press in so that we can hear our mic and then we'll just click this one to start to record so the first thing you want to have is a song that you want to sing to I have prepared a little melody here you will probably recognize the song so let's hear it So one thing you noticed here is that the sound cracks a little bit and I don't know if that's because of the mic cable or, is, or if it's because I'm recording the screen and I'm recording myself and everything is connected to the computer so it might be overloaded somehow. So in this recording I'm going to make, the mic will probably crack the recording. So it won't be perfect this time but we will work with that recording Either way, I will still show you the effects and I will show you how to edit the sound and I will show you the gear setup as well. So the first thing you want to have is a pair of headphones. These are not optimal for mixing or DJing, but they are good enough for recording vocals. So here they are. It's Marshall, just a regular pair of headphones. And the second thing you want to have is a uh, microphone interface card. Uh, this is not the one I'm using. The one I'm using right now is the Scarlett Focusrite. And the microphone is plugged in via USB to the computer and then an XLR cable from the interface card to my microphone. And then you want to make sure that your volume knob is not set too high because then your microphone will pick up too much sound and your recording will crack. That's not the case in this tutorial, however, but our recording will crack anyhow because I have too much going on on my PC right now. And then you want to make sure that your microphone is active. So you see we got the power supply button here and we got the air on this interface card. On the UX1 you have to have a separate power supply, but I have a tutorial on that on my channel as well. So check that out. I'm going to use this cheaper microphone. I have a tutorial on it on my channel. It's not optimal for recording vocals, but we, it will do fine for podcasting or gaming. It's just like when you have a gaming headset and your mic is too close to the mouth, your uh, recording will crack. So in that case, I have a more expensive microphone, but it's broken as well as my guitar. So this mic will do for this tutorial. I have another one more expensive coming in so I can do proper covers and record my own songs probably. Probably, properly, properly. So the distance to your microphone is very important. So if you sing this close and you sing very high, your recording will absolutely crack. So you want to have a distance of around 20 centimeters. And what I often do when I sing uh, higher or more powerful, I usually bend backwards a bit to get more distance so that my recording will have a more even sound. So if this is your sound wave, you want it smooth all the way. Yeah, when you uh, express more power and you're still this close to your mic, uh, your, your sound wave will go like this. So if this is the verse and then you uh, give more power to the refrain, it will spike like this and probably crack your recording as well. So distance is very important. 
Ouais. I used to rule the world Seas would rise when I gave the word Now in the morning I sleep alone Sweet the streets I used to own I used to roll the dice Feel the fear in my enemy's eyes Listen as the crowd would sing Now the old king is dead, long live the king One minute I held the key Next the walls were closed on me And I discovered that my castle stands Upon pillars of salt and pillars of sand Here Jerusalem bells are ringing Roman cavalry choirs are singing Be my mirror, my sword and shield My missionaries in the foreign field For some reason I can't explain Once you gone there was never Never an honest word And that was when I ruled the world Okay, so here we have our recorded track. Let's listen to it. So the first thing we can do is that we can go up to this list here with effects and then we can go to dynamics, compressor and then we go down to sustain lead vocal. So this is the compressor you want to add first. And then while you're in here I like to take out the edges a little bit. So let's listen to this. And you can play around with the dry and wet knob. So. Not a major difference. And then I like to add some EQ. So we go into EQ and filters and we go into channel EQ and we will find heartbeat kick. So here I already have some settings but it's mainly low on the low end but we since it's vocals we want to have some mid and we want to reduce the low all the way up to around 100 and for my vocals let's add some highs. <laughs> And we can add some output. So then what we can do is we can use a de which removes some of the S sounds. So we will find that in uh, Dynamics and Compressor and de -esser. And now we want to see here, we have our settings. I think I will be around 8 kilohertz. And we make sure this makeup is on. So let's hear how this sounds. It's quite high. We can reduce the gain. And we can also reduce it here. 
And now what we can do is that we can add another compressor just to smoothen it out even further. So let's use another sustained vocal. Let's listen to this. And we can press on this here. We can lower the threshold or increase it. Let's do it like so. And let's listen to it. It smoothens it out. And the next thing we can do is we can use utility. So instead of just clicking down this menu, we use this one. And that way we can automate uh, our sound. So when it peaks, we can adjust the volume right at the peak and lower just that one. Or if it's too low, we can increase the volume at that space. So what we do is we go to this utility and we rename it. Oh, let's see. Right click, rename, and we name it gain. And then we click up here to automate. And then we press here and we select gain. And gain. And so now we can zoom in here a bit. And we see a spike here. So we can press there and there and we can drag this a little bit lower. So now when we play from here, you didn't quite notice the difference there, but if we look here on this gain knob, you see it will move. So let's try it again. And if we lower this and decrease, we can select another spot there. So now you will probably hear the difference. Almost nothing. So we will increase it. That was too much. Okay, so now you know how to use utility and to automate your track. So the next thing we want to do is to add some effects and maybe some reverb. So the best way to use reverb is to go in here and send the track down to this reverb track, uh, which already comes with Ableton when you open up a new live set. You can, however, uh, go into this list and add reverb down to this. But all it does is suppress your vocals and add reverb on top. Um, this one uh, just adds reverb without decreasing your track volume. So let's hear. Uh, full reverb. So let's set it to minus 16 sounds good and then maybe we want to have some delay so let's check how that sounds and this is the delay full delay too much minus 17 sound good enough so yeah i think that wraps it up for episode 4 of ableton live 11 Lite. i will take a minute or two to work with this track and adjust the volumes a bit and maybe some more automations but the main settings you got and i will show you the track in a minute <laughs> to roll.
in my castle stand.